Thank you. Good morning. And thank you, Mayor Steele, for that illustration of partnerships working together for progress and protection. We're so fortunate to be here today with our young professionals and hosting this event to help the people of Grand Island learn more about our community. Being Grand Island's second largest employer, we are very proud to be a very diverse school district and we're having 23 locations serving almost 11,000 students. So you might ask, how is our school district impacting our community? Well, five years ago on this very stage, we talked about the importance of education and its contribution to the economic vitality of our community. We learned that for every dollar that's spent on early childhood education, there's a $6 return on investment. There's a $13 return for career academies. And there is a $6 return when we're working with small and medium sized businesses with customized job training opportunities. Through innovation and strong partnerships with numerous community leaders and companies, we have made Grand Island Public Schools better together. And now today, I am here to share with you how we are delivering on our promise to have you with a return on your investment. Let's start with early childhood education. This past year found us transforming the old Shopco, a 47,000 square foot facility into the O'Connor Learning Center. In addition to our programs at Lincoln, Howard, Star, and Head Start, we now have half day and full day offerings serving 444 preschoolers across the district. And we have expanded our classrooms to 15. We've all been a part of understanding the need for childcare in our community. And we're doing our part in GIPS by dedicating one of our classrooms to childcare for our families and meeting their practical needs. Through our commitment to early childhood education, we are empowering the whole child. Examples of our current efforts include offering on-site mental health counseling and on-site parent education opportunities to highlight just a few. This year, we were able to start a full-scale community school at our O'Connor Learning Center thanks to grants from the Nebraska Department of Education and Nebraska Children and Families. Even people around the state are invested in Grand Island. Right now, with these endeavors, we believe that our students are more poised to enter kindergarten ready for a lifetime of success, happiness, and achievement. We're already seeing the impact of these efforts. GIPS is outpacing the national average for our kindergarten and first grade students at or above the benchmark for early learning. We've seen a 51% increase in comparison to the national average increase of 21%. For our first grade students, we've seen um, a 25% increase in comparison to 16% at the national level. Our students in Grand Island Public Schools are meeting high expectations. Grand Island Public Schools is known for providing advanced classes with college bearing credits within our building. And we have seen a 5.8% increase in the number of students that are taking those exams just even since 2020. For the 2021 school year, we had 753 of our students earn dual credits in more than 1,500 courses, marking a 50% increase of students from the last two years. Our last graduating class, we had 346 seniors graduated having earned dual credit in 750 courses, pushing us to a 23% increase in the number of students. With the support of our education entities, as well as our business partners, we have been able to be a champion for college and career readiness. We have increased the number of professional certifications earned by 203% in the last five years, moving from an annual average of 160 certifications to now almost 500 certifications earned by our students. The number of those students that are earning certifications has grown by 214% as well. Among the certifications that we have added to our roster, they include 
certifications in manufacturing. Our students are now earning certifications, taking their practice exam to prepare to be teachers, as well as CNA and EMT certifications and a lot more on the way. Over the last five years, we've graduated more than 2,800 students. Our overall graduation rate has reached more than 87% this last year, the highest we've seen in the last five years, and we are just within striking distance of reaching our goal of at least 90% of our students graduating annually. I wanna break down for you just a little bit about what we're seeing with our students that are graduating. With a Hispanic students graduation rate of 85% last year, we exceeded the state average of graduating Hispanic students by more than 6%. Our English language learners graduation rate saw a 14.65% increase from last year. Students with an individual education plan, meaning our special education students, we graduated an increase of almost 9% from last year. And we've maintained the state average of over 91% of a graduation rate for our white students. Why is this important to us? This shows us that no matter your race, your socioeconomic status, or your background, every student will know that they can graduate college and career ready within Grand Island. This is the picture of diversity and excellence within the city of Grand Island. Of course, we are especially proud to announce that in this May, we will graduate our first class that has matriculated through the academies of Grand Island Senior High School all four years. This is an achievement that honors both the community as well as Grand Island Public Schools. And you know what? Our students are ready to make positive contributions to society and thrive in an ever-changing world. And we believe that they're ready to thrive right here in your businesses or any other path that they choose. Through our registered apprenticeship program alone, we've been able to employ 24 students right here in Grand Island. We started with just one business just a few years ago, and now we're up to 19 partners. At Grand Island Public Schools, we recognize that our employers that you're hiring and looking to meet your workforce needs. We are pleased to announce that in 2022, that we're partnering with the Department of Labor to host the first GISH hiring fair. This community is ripe with advantageous opportunities for us to partner and provide solutions for our workforce. We're very proud of the academic achievement as well as the technical skills of our students but our businesses, they continue to emphasize the importance of students learning soft skills. And so therefore, we're proud about our extracurricular activities as well. Working with our Board of Education, we have developed an extracurricular excellence plan, and boy, are we already seeing some fruits of the labor. If you read anything about Grand Island, our athletics here in the last couple of weeks, you can see that our wrestling teams are definitely getting state attention and our high school's boys bowling team just became the first state champions ever, and this is their first year ever participating. We have a lot of reasons to be proud. And as we look to maximize our ESSER funds, we are doing more for our fine arts. We are anticipating a nine, almost a million dollar investment of new musical instruments for the upcoming school year. So the true measure of return on investment is definitely shown by how we impact the lives of our students. So before I leave today, I want to leave you with one example of a student, and that's Brian Otto. Brian is a senior at Grand Island Senior High School in the Academy of Technical Sciences and Welding. He is one of the founders in, of the upcoming social media initiative called Surgeons of Steel. He's been featured in a number of national publications, and he and his team were recently invited to Houston, Texas to participate in an industry-leading underwater welding program. Our students are living up to the expectations that we have here in Grand Island Public Schools. And today, it was our hope to illustrate to you that we are giving back to you what you expect, us graduating students prepared and where we can be proud that they came from the city of Grand Island. Thank you for your time today.